Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step installation guide on installing the Retro Arms hop-up system in an a and K M249 platform. Enjoy the video. So in this installation, you're only going to need a few tools. A 2mm Allen, 2.5, and, and a small flathead screwdriver. Okay, just so you guys know, with this new hop-up system from Retro Arms, it uses a normal type hop-up, or bucking. As you can see, we got a lip here, and then this is the hop-up that the original uses. There is no lip here. And so what that problem that's going to be caused is the barrel is going to sit further back with that type of bucking. So you have to use this sort of bucking so that the barrel sits seats in there correctly further forward or else your clamp won't will line up correctly to the barrel itself. Alright, first I'm going to cover all the parts that are included in your system here. So this is the block, your feeding block as I call it. This is going to wrap around the gearbox. This is a ball bearing which sits right in there with that spring and that set screw. And the purpose of that is, is you're going to press against this ring here and keep tension on that ring so it doesn't move while <coughs> you're out airsofting. And of course, here's the hop-up unit itself. This little nut here, tighten the hop-up system down the, on the barrel. This piece here is meant to clamp the hop-up system down on your system here, just like that. So go together like this. I'll show you more in, in later in the video. And that's what those two screws are for, is to tighten these ends down. So before we get started, we're going to get the feeding block assembled. You're going to take your feeding block, and a little hole there. You're going to take the ball bearing, drop it down in there. Then the spring, and then your grip screw. You're going to take a 2 millimeter Allen wrench. Go ahead and install it. So you'll run it all the way down until it stops, and that's it. And it's ready to go. Now we can move on to the next step. Alright, we're going to start off with taking off the front barrel. Boom. We're going to go ahead and take the inner barrel out of the outer barrel. Go ahead and take these guys off. I'll use them for later. Alright, so the next step, grab yourself a 2.5mm Allen wrench. I'm going to take this screw and this screw out. These are the screws that hold on to the, hold the gearbox in place. You'll see in a little bit why we're taking these out. Take out the pin right here. And this is so that we can shift the gearbox back. Alright, now that you got your two screws out here and here, and your bolt here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these two screws out right here and here. Now you're going to carefully push your gearbox back. You have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to come back a little bit. And you're doing this so you can get that block, this block out because you're not going to need it anymore. And you just grab it, pull it right out. I'm going to take your uh, retro arms feed block. In this orientation, you're going to stick that right in there. So you're going to slide your gearbox back forward again. Once you got it sitting in, just sitting in there, you're going to slide it forward just a little bit. So it's a little bit of a snug fit, but once you get your gearbox forward, you bring your gearbox back forward and get it lined. You'll have to peek through to the mag well and it should just slide right on just like that. Once you get that there, then you can go ahead and push your gearbox back forward and then uh, move on to the next step. Alright, so now that we got the gearbox back in, you go ahead and put your pin back in your stock there. You'll leave those screws that go in here out for now. Alright, the next step we're going to get the original hop up off. This is where the small screwdriver comes in. So you'll save this for later. So you'll take this O-ring off. 
you will not be using that o-ring. So you're going to pop this guy out. You're going to hop up nub. Save that little hop up nub there. Go ahead and take your booking off. You're not going to you're not going to reuse this. You go grab your favorite hop up booking. In this case, I'm going to use my reaps. Go ahead and grab your retro arms. Go ahead and slide your barrel in. Okay, and once you get it in, you'll reuse your clamp. And you'll grab the nut that comes in the package. Slide it down the barrel. It's going to clamp the hop up to the barrel. It does a better job than those brass rings that normally go in here. Grab a pair of pliers. Hold on to the barrel and the hop up unit. Tighten it down. Now that that part's done, in this little hole is where that little nub that you pulled out from the original hop up system is going to go. Take it. I'm going to place it in there. Just like that. Then you're going to take your the ring and place it over it. There. Now the now the barrel and hop up system is ready to go. Now you'll take your other piece, your barrel assembly. You'll feed it through the opening here. All right. Now you're gonna take this piece. You're gonna set it right on top. You can sit on top there. Grab one of the screws and feed it in in one of the holes. Get the thread started. Do you feel a grab? And stop. And you grab your other screw and feed it in the other hole. So you have to lift up the barrel a little bit. I'm pushing against the gearbox right now. Just work them back and forth. I'm doing this by hand, just like this. Because you don't want to over tighten them. Move the barrel a little bit. Once you feel it tighten up, that's it. It's secured. Now we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so you'll flip your 249 over to these holes again. What you're going to do, you're going to push the gearbox back until you get these holes to align. Once you do, then grab those screws that hold it in. Grab your 2.5mm wrench. Run them down. They keep them loose. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to have to. You're going to grab your box mag. You're going to make sure that this feed tube lines up correctly when you put your mag in. So that's why you want to leave those screws loose so you can adjust your gearbox forward or back. Grab your box mag. and try and test fit it. Okay, so right now it's not going in. And that's probably because it needs to get, the gearbox needs to get pushed back a little bit, which in turn moves that piece back. So we'll take it out. Take your little flat screwdriver. That might be it right there. Or it might be too far forward or too far back, so we might have to go the other way. You just keep getting it, keep trying until it pops in easily. It should pop in easily. Right now it's not. So I'll push it back forward. There. It just popped right in. So you go ahead and leave it in there. Grab your Allen wrench, go ahead and tighten on the screws, and just test it. Make sure it pops in there. Yep, went in there nice and easy. There 
you go. We'll go ahead and move on to the next step. We're almost done. All right, so now we're gonna put the barrel back on, just so you guys know. Putting this back on, the barrel won't snap in together because this hop-up system's a little bit longer than the factory. So if you absolutely want this on here, you'll have to cut off some coils off of the spring. I don't think you need to. I'm not gonna use it, it's up to you. It goes on just fine without it. And it holds it in place just fine. I haven't had any issues. So we'll just go ahead and slip the barrel back on. Personally, it just makes it easier to put it back on. Because everything's all lined up. There we go. That's it, she's in. And grab the dust cover, or the heat shield. Put that on. There you go, it's all in. And that's what it looks like when it's all together. So if you guys enjoyed the video and have any suggestions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below, give the video a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.